Hi guys, this video is going to be a road lamp or barricade lamp video because an eBay has very kindly sent me this one for free along with a few other bits that aren't lamp related so I can cover them in my vlog. Anyway, this is the Tildorn Pilot 360 steady burn as you can see. The usual um, 360 lens with the, you know, you twist it to turn it on and off. Uh, <laughs> I do like the design of them lamps, but the only design flaw with these, and it goes for even, you know, the JSP mini lights and the micro lights and the other lights, it was too easy to steal the batteries from them. And I don't know if anyone remembers... I remember back, you know, when I was younger, in like the 90s, early 2000s, I would just see lamps like this on a, a barrier post with just, well, this bit, what I used to call the bucket. Because it was, as the ones with a the handle, they remind me of a little bucket, so that's what I used to call them. But uh, I actually thought I had one of these, but I've got a similar one, or I've got a different Till dawn with a 360 lens, but not a one like this. I'm surprised uh, I never went and bought one on eBay. Actually, maybe it's because I thought I had one. Anyway, so thank you for posting that to me. It's much appreciated. I'll go on my uh, shelf with what few till dawns I have. Um, the other road lamp thing I wanted to mention, because I've actually found out a bit more info, is this one. It's the um, railway lamp. And it's got the red lens on that side. Apparently, so I've been told, and I found this out on a Facebook group last night, these were often in pairs, hence the connecting cable, and hence why I've got two in a cabinet that used to open up and they did in fact place these at the start and the end of works on railway lines so the trains or the train drivers knew when they were entering the work zone and leaving the work zone um, and apparently some of these were separated um, so they could use them like as I suppose buffer markers if the light breaks or whatever on the buffers you know like a stick one of these on there as a temporary fix so yeah just a bit of information about that one that I thought was interesting oh the lens doesn't rotate on this one Dorman, um, Dorman have stuck a screw in there so it doesn't rotate which is probably, you know, a customer request. Because I was reading an arc article shared by someone else that um, Dorman always worked very closely with their customers. So you'll, you will find with Dorman lamps that they have a lot of uh, customer-specific requests. Which to me makes them a lot more collectible. Because there's going to be so many different variations of these out there. I mean, because these lenses are swappable, you could get a bunch of these and make some up yourself. I could make a, you know, get some more of these and make a double-sided red lensed one up. So, yeah, anyway, that is it for this video. So, thanks a lot for watching. This one's going to go up on the shelving in the bedroom. I actually have no idea how many lamps I've got. I keep losing count. Uh, oh, and I have just bought another one. <laughs> uh, I don't know if he's posted it today but I did pay for it this morning. Um, it's another one of these. Um, it hasn't got that sticker on there. It has got the reflective sticker but not the Dorman Smith on there. But it's an identical lamp. A little bit of damage around the buttonhole but that doesn't matter. But uh, the only reason I bought it is because uh, I do really do like those lights, and I had four of these, and I really do regret selling the other two. So, I saw that come up, and I was like, yep, I'm going to buy it. So, I bought it. <laughs> uh, 
And uh, one last thing as well. As I've got a YouTuber that collects lights. Or, uh, blah, I'll start again, shall I? I have someone that watches my videos. Specifically my lamp videos. Um, who collects them as well. And I'm going to post this to him. For free, I don't want nothing for it. And uh, I've got the proper Dorman Smith key here, because I've got a few of them. I've got at least three, if I count that one. I've got two in my toolbox, and I believe I've got another one. Another one at least lurking around this flat somewhere. So I don't mind posting another one. It just makes life easier with this bolt and uh, turning it on and on. You haven't got to mess around trying to find something that's going to fit in the bloody hole. But there you go, that will be on its way to you probably after Christmas. Uh, as soon as the post office opens after Christmas I'll get this posted. But uh, in the meantime, I have got a box somewhere. I'll probably use that little one, there's a little one down there in the dark. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, rate all that wonderful stuff, and uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!